obviously it's 8 p.m. It's Thursday. It's the clap for carers. Whilst we appreciate the claps that the public are doing, we do not appreciate our government clapping for us because essentially they are the reason why we are in this position. They've not planned at all and they've had months to plan ahead and they've left us in such a terrible position. We came into this crisis with a shortfall of 120,000 jobs and of that 40,000 nursing vacancies. And it's because what's expected of a nurse I've seen it myself, I work alongside people half my age and younger and the burnout rate is massive. Why is there a Nightingale Hospital ready to go without any patients being cared for because there are no nurses to staff that unit or doctors or medics? Ultimately this is the government's fault, um, they need to take responsibility, they need to provide us with better pay and better working conditions. The government doesn't always tell the truth. Matt Hancock blatantly said that we've had a pay rise. Now this isn't just about our pay, it's about funding an NHS that's, that we are able to work and give care. The situation in the hospitals are so severe. We are stretched across all ICUs. We're stressed out, very anxious. There's a lot of PTSD amongst staff. A lot of staff are going off sick, related to COVID and unrelated, leaving mainly nurses very short, um, which increases the risk of patients deteriorating and ultimately patients dying. We simply just cannot take what's happening uh, at the moment with the increasing admissions and caseloads that are happening across all our ICUs. Our intensive care nurse colleagues should only look after one-to-one. -one. The idea that you can all of a sudden look after three patients is madness. Some of us are wearing masks, which Many of us are wearing on the wards or in the emergency departments. Even in some ICUs, the FFP3s are expired and we're having to reuse them again and again. People have got the message loud and clear that profit is much more important than people. The idea of eat out to help out, that getting us all to go Christmas shopping when the COVID was on the rise and then all of a sudden, because they couldn't ignore the facts, no, you can't go shopping. And going on about Christmas where Eid and all the other religious festivals weren't paid attention to. To give handouts to Serco and big business is what makes people really angry. Track, trace and test should have been done by health service workers and it would have been done efficiently. Boris, don't stand on your doorstep tonight and clap. Go back, talk to Rishi Sunak, look about funding the health service, look about funding the people who work in the health service. And come on, let's have look across the world at how other people, not America, not Britain, but other countries have handled the pandemic, take lessons, follow the science, get people vac vaccinated and bring our services back in to the NHS. Because once you privatise, you're chasing profit. Is it right if we take two minutes, just have a chat? We're, we're only going to be two minutes. No worries. Sorry, do you, you know we are in a national system? lockdown. I do know that. Yeah. We're just taking a photo and we're going. No worries. Alright, could you just maintain your distance please? Pardon? Could you maintain your distance please? I can do, but you shouldn't be here anyway. We, we're actually leaving. Huh? Okay, we're just taking can a photo. Can you leave now then going. please? Is yeah, that alright? We're just taking a photo and we're going. You can't you take a photo, I'm afraid. Well, we are. And, huh? and we're going. Okay. Can I have your name? Is that alright? No. No. Uh, and, uh, do you work for the NHS? Yes, I do. Yeah. And how come you're out here anyway? Well, we're protesting for, for our working oh, conditions and pay as well.